We are doing the Grade 11 IT Prac exam for November 2018 from the Eastern Cape, and we're dealing with Question 4, and this is probably going to be 4.2. So just to recap, we're currently dealing with an array of items and a parallel array, a corresponding array, array cost, which has the price for each of those items. So position 1 in the array item, um, array will have a cost of whatever's in position one of the array cost array. And in the first video that we did, we what we did a sort of the array item, but whatever we changed in the array item, we also did for array cost. So let's that was just a method that we did as a procedure. So let's look at question 4.2. There's a button, list of items. We need to separate the items into two different categories, food and drink, and display an alphabetical list of the food items. Hmm, alphabetical list. Hmm, how are we going to do that? Well, maybe we should use our sort algorithm that we did in the previous question, our sort method. So there we go. So that's how we're going to use it. We don't need to redo the sort um, method because we've got it. And then alphabetical list of drinks. Okay. The food items and drinks will be used in a later question. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a stab at the earlier question just to see what we are doing. Um, so they want us to display all the food items in the next question with some sort of that markup. And then we're going to search for a particular item. Okay, I don't think the search is up. But you see we're dealing just with the food here. Um, and it's only 10 marks. So I've got a feeling that the reason why they've told us this is because they want us in this question to separate the food and the drink items into two separate arrays. That's my feeling. Let's see if that's true because okay so if we do that then we just have to display food items and then the drink items so what i'm going to do this is my strategy i'm going to go through the array items and find all the food items and put them into a food array with an i probably need to keep track of their costs so i'm going to put a corresponding food cost array oh that's already two new arrays and then i'm going to have an array which stores all the drink items with the drink costs that's what I'm probably going to do. And that sounds like enough for 20 marks. So that's, they haven't explained it very clearly, but that's what I'm assuming what they want. Okay, so how do we do that? First of all, to make my life easy, I'm going to sort it from the beginning. So let's do that quickly. So here we have our program. Let's go click on the button that we want to write the code for. So what we're going to do is we're first going to sort the algorithm that will sort, use the sort algorithm sort the array so that they're already sorted so we don't have to worry so we just call the sort procedure that we did in the previous question so that part's done brilliant easy now we need to separate the food items now if you can see over here the food items have a hash f at the end and the way they want to display it is without the hash okay so i'm going to just do the food for now let's just do the food so let's make it global because we can use these global variables so let's call it a food item, okay, which will be an array from 1 to 22. If the array that we're getting the information from is only 22, if we assume, worst case scenario, all the items are food, then we only need 22. That'll be our top string, and then we'll need an array food cost, which is an array from 1 to 22 as well of real now we don't know how many of those we're not going to fill it because there are some uh, drink items we don't know so i'm going to have a variable called our food size which tells me how many items are in those two arrays so if there are 12 food items then we don't have to go from 1 to 22 we go from 1 to 12 for that and remember when you declare this variable it's declared globally an integer declared globally will be automatically set to zero Okay, so let's just do the food. So when we do the food items, we sort it, and then I'm going to go through the array. So from 1 till 22, because that's how many items are in the array. Okay, begin. Okay, now we want to check if the last character is an F. So if, how do we get the last character? If array item R, so we're dealing with, when it's a, R is a 1, that'll be number 1, and then number 2. Are, how do I get the last character? If that, if I must copy, you can copy from it if you want. From array item starting at the length of array item R. 
for one character not length minus one because then you can start there so we copy from array item r for the length of array item r if that is equal to the letter f you see that so we copy from our, the array item r which will be item one then item two we copy for the length of it for one character so copy for the length of it so till that character for one if that equals to f then we have a food item so then what do we want to do now here's a step whenever you are adding to an array this is the key step you have some sort of variable which tells you how many items are in the array okay we are at the very start here let's just assume we're going to restart our size our food size is equal to zero so we know it's equal to zero so at the moment it's zero we found the first food item where do we want to put it in we want to put it into position one so i'm going to increase first i'm going to increase our food size first increase it so now our food size is a one because we found a food item now in position food item our food size so in that position one we are going to put in the name of the food now do we do they want us to have the one with the hash at the end or i don't know i'm just going to put in the name of the item without the hash at the end let's do that we're going to copy from array item r starting at one till the length of array item r copy for the length copy for the length of it where is it let's go look in the code over here copy for the length of it minus two because we don't want those two characters copy for the length minus two in that way what we are doing is we copy in from one till the length minus two take that value from position one and put it into our array food items okay but we also need to keep track of the cost so our array food cost array in the same position our food size one must be whatever is in array cost at position r okay but let's double check that why is that an error it's probably an error over here I like closed the bracket length of minus one copy we've got too many brackets maybe i've got too many brackets there we go okay so let's think about this i'm going through each and every item so i go through here think about it r is going to be a one so look at the item r one is that an f yes it is so then we increase food size which was a zero now it's a one in position one of the food item we're going to put this and then we go and fetch position one over there and put it into array food cost in that same position one so i know whatever's in position one of this array has a cost at position one in that array and it will do that now we've done the sort already so this will be in a different order and then if i find something that's a food it won't do that okay so i'll be happy with that so that should do the food and then we must display it once it's done they want us to display food items with a space and then all the food items they don't say anything about the cost now the reason why i've done the cost is because we're probably going to need the cost because i read ahead to needing the prices of that i found that i needed the cost of the foods that's why i created the food cost variable in advance even though it's obviously we don't need it here yet so once that loop has been done then i can go the rich edit dot clear and then rich edit dot lines dot dot add and we want to add the word food items in capitals followed by a blank line why do i keep putting a comma there and then i'm going to do a loop from r equals one till how many food items are there i don't know but i've got a variable that does know our food size because at the end of this loop our food size will be how many food items there are and what am i doing i'm simply in the rich edit that lines dot add i'm adding all the items from our array food 
item square bracket r. I don't need to put the cost, I'm just going to put the items like that. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what that does. Let's see if that works. Okay, we want it to look something like that. Does it look like that? Yes, it does. Fantastic. So that's working. Now we must do the same for the drink. So all I'm going to do is exactly the same thing. I'm going to make an R drink size variable, which I set to zero. Oh, I haven't declared it. So R drink size. So I'm going to do the exact same thing as these things. Just going to add them. Yeah. So we're going to have one for the drink and one for the drink cost. I don't think we need the drink cost, but I'm just doing it just in case, you never know, and our drink size. It's gonna do the same thing. This is gonna store all the drink items, the corresponding drink cost, and this will tell me how many items are drinks. It could, it doesn't necessarily mean that the food and the drinks have the same number. It's possible, it's very possible that they don't. So if it's an F, then do that. If it's not an F, then obviously it's a drink, else we must add the stuff to the drink so it's literally copying all of this code you see how we're saving time by copy and paste and instead of the food size we are copying the drink size and we're putting it into the drink arrays the drink cost array and the drink item array exactly the same thing copy for one short of it put in the corresponding cost and then we've done that, and then we will add another blank line with items and another blank line. So we can literally copy this. And after we've done that loop, we do this again. Let's put a blank line first. And then we will do a similar loop. But this time we will go till the size of the drink array. And we will put the items that are in the drink items array. Let's see if that works. Whew. Just by simple copy and paste, we got it all. There we go. That looks legit. If we look at the, that looks like they want it like that. There we go. Oh, we must change that to drink items. That's a long made a mistake there. Change that to drink items. Okay. So there we go. I think that's all done. It looks like that question is done. That was quite a long question, 20 marks. Now we can move on to the next question. For the rest of this question four, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.